What's up? This is Naked Eli, the most young clothes gamer, and this mission is hard. This is Casingo Boulevard. I'm going to show you how to optimize it, throw this grenade, shoot the rocket at the face of the brute, preempt a grenade there to make those enemies dive, shoot a rocket at the jackals that usually both come out there, and then you can try to grab a needle or a plaza pistol on the ground, which will help you with any leftover harassing brutes. And of course, if you have any grenades, feel free to throw them at any enemies left over because they are jerks, and you have probably a less than 50% chance of making it through there. I've done it dozens and dozens of dozens of times and the whole goal is to get into this ghost and then book it past everything. Never ever stop. Sometimes they'll kill you, sometimes they won't. We're hopefully banking on they won't. This guy got in my way and so I actually had to shoot him which I'd never had to do before. You Normally when you run over him he either dies or like goes for a ride on the top of your ghost. Now I've got zero health so zero health hype and our whole goal here is to grab a beam rifle, which will then allow us to shoot all of the enemies out of these turrets. The grunt heads barely stick out in the middle of the shades, and you can also, when they're turned like this, shoot their legs or any part of their body, and those grunts will die in one hit. Then we're going to move up to the left here. Hopefully the ghost isn't in an area where he can shoot at you. Uh, turns out there that he got the tail end of me. But usually even if he does, you can make it through taking out those exact enemies that I did. Now instead of going directly into the door and sitting there waiting to get shot at by the ghost, we fly across, which makes the ghost not come after you as well, and then we can move into this section. We go down there to spawn the banshees early, and then we're going to come in here, grab the health pack to get full health, and the rockets, which are super important. Get back in the ghost, and then try to take out, if you see a brute who has moved up here, or some of the grunts. Um, you could also snipe and rocket them, I just find that the ghost is a little easier. There's an, a teammate up there that you want to kill. You can usually snipe his face, but sometimes he doesn't show, so you shoot some rockets and hopefully that blows him up. Now you start shooting near the Banshees, and if your other dude died, then the Banshees will aggro to you. As soon as the Banshee is at that position where he's just passing this giant building that you're looking at, uh, the Banshee will actually come after you if you ghost into the alley. And so now we're playing a little game where we want him to be up against a wall, not a corner, because a corner will make him go vertically up, and we won't be able to glitch the game to get the Banshee. So hold down the button to enter a vehicle. On Bumper Jumper, I hold down the B button, and then you can actually just shoot his feet, not his legs, because the legs are blocked, but shoot the feet two to three times, and he'll die. Now here there's an invisible barrier, so you want to go underneath it. I actually went so far low, this is really dangerous, that I actually went into the door instead of boosting up the wall. By the way, you also want to angle up into the wall, not directly at the wall. If you boost straight into the wall, you'll just die. Your banshee takes a lot of damage. And you also have to time going up that wall with the shots of the wraiths. So notice that I waited a little bit to look at the timing of the wraiths, and I didn't go until I saw that the wraith had just shot. Sometimes both wraiths are shooting, that makes it a little more difficult, and then you'll have to time both of them. And so that's definitely the hardest part of this entire mission, is getting the Banshee over that wall safely. Now here, follow exactly what I do, look where I look, move where I move, being over here makes it really safe to take out all those enemies on the right and then to immediately shoot at the back of the wraith what, without getting brute shotted at by these guys. Now here I could have just turned to the right. I don't know why I pulled a Zoolander and turned left. Although I guess he can't turn left. I turned only left. And then here we can just be in this corner from a distance safely taking out all of the enemies who were just dropped off of the Phantom. And then we're going to want to move across the map. The, he always, uh, the phantoms always drop off jackals on the opposite side. And so here there are three jackals, two with shields and one with a uh, carbine. And so use whatever you got to take them out. And then you quickly, quickly want to move out of the, the inside. Notice how I come here, there's like the little safe zone so that the uh, turrets on the phantom don't kill you. Now here I thought I had taken out... Um, the grunt on that turret that's gonna come back and bite me in the ass see right here I start getting lit up and then this removes my so I basically had to, to boost away and I was getting shot at by everything under the Sun and I was freaking out because this is by far and away the best Casingo Boulevard I've ever had and then over here some of these jackal or some of these grunts have fuel rods so look at this I almost get shot by him take all them out and then you really don't want to get hit by brute shot because it actually hurts you really badly. But this guy just does the uh, the slow walk out of the bubble, hits me with a couple. Banshee survives. And so as sloppy as that was, um, we now have two jackals with shields and one ranger left. 
to kill. Bada bing, bada boom. Again, we are done with Kasingo. You fly back towards Dutch to activate the last uh, loading slash checkpoint to end the mission. And so you'll see my time was a 510, which is actually faster than Nagato's run, which he's the current world record holder for the full game. So I'd say that's pretty good and blew everyone else's times out of the water. So hope you enjoyed that run. I put many hours into getting a perfect guide for you. And I hope you have fun trying out some of the tricks. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.